Article 210 branch circuits, we're going to talk about AFCIs in 210.12. So the rules for AFCI protection were editorially revised, 10 amp circuits were addressed, and new locations were added. All right, 210.12, they also kind of uh, reorganized this section, made it a little bit easier on the eyes, which was, which was good. AFCI protection provided by a method described in A is required in the locations specified in B through E. So they kind of reconfigured 210.12 and, and if you look at it and compare it next to the 2020, it, it is better. There's no question about that. Um, not a lot of changes here. We added 10 amp circuits. So 210.12D, AFCI protection is required for all 120 volt, 10 amp, 15 amp, 20 amp branch circuits, supplying outlets or devices in number one, guest rooms and guest suites of hotels and motels. Okay, let, let's just get rid of the 10 amp thing here for a second, okay? Are they going to make a 10 amp AFCI? Mm, nope. So forget 10 amp circuits. They're not making a 10 amp AFCI. Why would they? Nobody's putting in 10 amp circuits, at least not yet. If some things happen in 2026, and by the way, we'll talk about this in the next video. If some things happen in 2026, you might see 10 amp branch circuits, but for right now, just forget that, all right? So what changed? Well, nothing yet. 210.12a talks about the types of AFCIs, AFCI breakers, AFCI receptacles. I think B is dwelling units, C is dormitories, I think, or hotels and motels. And then D, other occupancies, guest rooms and guest suites of hotels and motels, sleeping rooms of nursing homes and limited care facilities, and then item three, sleeping rooms of police, fire, ranger, ambulance stations, similar. Okay, so this is a, per, uh, a fairly predictable evolution, I think. When we look at AFCI starting all the way back in 1999, um, we started putting AFCIs where people sleep. And actually, we started quite literally where they sleep, which was in dwelling unit bedrooms. And then we expanded it to the rest of the dwelling unit. Now I say the rest of it, I don't mean just the whole thing, but you know, we, we expanded it to more locations in the in dwellings. Then we added hotels and motels. Then we added sleeping rooms at dormitory units, right? And then we added nursing homes, limited care facilities, again, where people lay their heads. And now we're talking about sleeping rooms in what? Police stations, fire stations, ranger stations, and ambulance stations in similar locations. So there you go. Where people sleep, we tend to have AFCI protection. Not just the sleeping rooms, but you know, a lot of times the entire building. Uh, but here for these facilities, it's just the sleeping rooms. This is probably not that big of a change because really police stations, fire stations, ambulance stations, those are already dormitory units depending on how many occupants you have. If you have a fire station and there's more than 16 people that, that, uh, that sleep there, it was already required because that's a dormitory unit. If you have a police station, yeah, police station, I don't know how many people sleep at the police station, Probably not. So, police station, definitely new. Ranger stations, yeah, they're new. I mean, I don't know how many ranger stations there are in the world. Probably not that many. Ambulance stations, there you go. So, new requirements for AFCI protection, but nothing earth-shattering.